In this video, we're going to talk about the idea that making money is evil. Coming up next. Hi everybody, my name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue, where we talk about how to make money, save money, and live well in retirement. Well, if you've ever set a big money goal, like I have, odds are someone's come along or maybe mentioned that you shouldn't want to make so much money because money is evil. But is that really true? Now for me, I have an incredible distinction about um, making money. For me, it is all about the why. Why do you want to make money? What are you going to do with that money? Um, what changes is it going to make for your life? How is it going to improve things? Uh, the distinction being, I don't want to make money just to make money. I, I just don't even care. I want to make money so that I have financial peace of mind. And that why, why you want to make money is so critically important. No one detests more than me someone who wants to make money just so they can lord it over people show how powerful they are, drive the Lambo, whatever that, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was actually a show years ago called Trading Places, Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, and it really highlighted this idea. You have two old rich guys who bet a dollar that they can completely ruin two people's lives. You know, if you're wanting to make money just so you can mess with other people, and feel like God, yes, it's evil. <laughs> I totally agree with that. <laughs> but truthfully, that is so rare. That is not really why people want to make money. Most people want to make money to change their lives, to improve their lives, to give themselves options, to give their families choices, to be able to provide in a great way for those people they love. It's not about just having money for the sake of money. No one really wants to be Scrooge McDuck stacking up all your coins every day. That is, I mean, really, that's silly. And so when you start to think about, you know, the reason someone would say that money is evil, it has to do with the way they view money. And if you're going to set out some big money goals, the way you view money is very important. And so you need to understand your own why. Why do you want to make that money? What is your motivation? What is your goal? And if the goal is just so you can have a lot of money, you're probably going to fail. Because you've got to have something deeper. Uh, reaching those big money goals is difficult at best. Horrific at worst. <laughs> and a lot of people fail. They don't have the motivation. They don't have the steam to keep going. Uh, their why isn't strong enough. And their why isn't something they really connect with. I mean, if you want to make money just to buy something, and then you want to make more money to buy the next something, there are a lot of very, very wealthy people who are horrifically unhappy because they have discovered stuff doesn't make anyone happy. It really doesn't. You can have nice things, but they're not going to make you happy. And money itself is not going to make you happy. It is the lifestyle that that money could afford, the lifestyle and choices you then get to make that will bring happiness into your life. It is not those dollar bills. Now it's really important to remember that money's just a thing. It's like your couch is just a thing. It's not good or evil. It has no uh, psychological or emotional component to it. It's just a thing. It's an exchange of value. That's all it is. Just like your couch is just a thing. It's not good. It's not evil. <laughs> you know, what you do with it and what it means to you is where people get those ideas of good and evil. There's an old saying that uh, money makes you more of what you are, and that is absolutely true. I mean, if you are a jerk and you're poor, guess what happens when you get money? You just be a bigger jerk. If you are a sweet giving person when you're poor, guess what happens when you get money? You become an incredible giving person. Those things don't change. So it's not like money changes you. 
but it reveals more of who you are. And that's true of the people around you too. If one person in the group is very, very successful, it brings out all of the feelings around money of the other people in the group. That's why you hear people say, well, I don't understand why everybody around me changed. They didn't change. Money brought out who they actually are. When everybody's equal, you can just kind of hide your real uh, personality a lot of times. You hide your real thoughts. You hide your real feelings about money, especially because people are trained not to talk about money. We're all told it's rude not to talk about money. I mean, we don't do it. And so when someone gets really successful, all of a sudden the conversation becomes about money and people's real feelings come forward. And sometimes that's ugly. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you find out some of the most unsuspecting people are incredible people and give them a little bit of money and the world's a better place. But you don't know that until it happens. Now the thing with big money goals and the thing with my big money goals and the way I view them is pursuing a big money goal for my retirement is all about the pursuit of peace. I want a peaceful life. I don't want to have to worry about uh, if I'm going to be able to take care of myself. I don't want to have to worry about am I going to be able to live in a good place or am I going to be able to have choices for health care and choices for retirement and you know all these things. Am I going to be able to travel? Am I going to be able to do what I want? I don't want to have to worry about those things. So to me it's a pursuit of a peaceful satisfied life. That's all it is. That's why my goals aren't to become a billionaire, some kind of CEO that runs a big company with thousands of employees. Those are not my goals. My goal is to make enough money for me to have an incredible, peaceful life. It's none of that other stuff. It doesn't even mean anything to me. So when you set your goals, you set your goals that have meaning to you. And for most people, that means having a secure, peaceful life in some way or another. Now, ironically, it's really difficult sometimes for people who are relatively secure, who don't worry about money all the time, to understand how all-consuming it is for someone who does not have that security. Uh, you will often see people, you know, on a financial show, on YouTube, on wherever, say, oh, well, all you have to do is this, or all you have to do is this. I don't understand why people are poor. There's no excuse for that. They have no understanding what it's like to spend every waking hour worrying if you're going to be able to cover your bills, feed your kids, um, how you're going to find money to go to school, how you're going to get a job if you just lost one. How are you, how are you going to survive? The worries are so incredibly mentally consuming, it is hard to do anything else. And unfortunately, they don't uh, really understand that, especially if they haven't been there. Now, even people who have been there sometimes forget. They have advanced so far, they forget how much of their time used to be spent worrying about that stuff. And so it's easy for them to be kind of judgmental. But don't let that stop you. Other people's opinions of your abilities have no bearing on what you're able to accomplish. You know, one of the reasons that I really, um, even though I present ways to make money and I'm pursuing some of those ways and those are the ways I present, um, I really don't tell everyone, oh, you've got to do this. Oh, it's just so easy. It's not easy. There is not some magical automatic ATM that's going to come into your life and spit out dollars. Ain't happening. It's not going to happen. It is a long, hard road full of a lot of work and disappointment. It is not this magical snap your fingers thing. And there are so many people who grasp on to this hope that it's going to be easy and then they get disappointed and they don't want to start again. And people who say things like, well, pursuing money is evil anyway. You shouldn't want that. Don't help. You should want a great peaceful life. And for most of us, that's going to take some money. So it's figuring out how to get from point A to point B. And those first 100 steps are the absolute hardest you will ever travel. It's not the last where you see people going from a million to ten million. That's not the hard part. It's that first hundred dollars, first thousand dollars. You know, even millionaires will say, boy, that first million is the hardest. 
and it is. It's those little steps that are the hardest. So don't let someone else's uh, opinion or someone's idea that money is somehow evil, which is kind of crazy, uh, get in your way. You go ahead and believe in your dreams, and you go ahead and do what you have to do to get that peaceful life that you want. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.